And then because it was really quick, that's what I don't think people realize is that when the Sahara Desert turned from, you know, green lush paradise, whatever you want to call it, to a desert, it was like a few centuries. It's called rapid desertification and it it flipped, not overnight, obviously, but in a a few centuries compared to 9,000 years is a rapid change. And for any kind of culture that was living there, you wouldn't have noticed it straight away. But in 50 years, you'd be like, fuck, it's getting a bit hot here. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, the kind of explanation away of that also never made sense to me that it's wind and sand. Because when you see pictures of the Sphinx, even from when they kind of found it in Napoleonic times, it's buried in sand. Right. And there's records from the Egyptians themselves who, uh, you know, took... Uh, excavated it effectively because it was covered in sand so if it quickly gets covered in sand how could it be eroded by wind and sand if it doesn't take very long for it to you know kind of get filled up with sand then how does wind and sand erosion even count i've never seen anyone kind of explain that away